My name is Donald Lindsay, and I make my livelihood playing and teaching the bagpipe. And uh, I uh, left the Air Force Pipe Band in 1970 when it was disbanded uh, and came up to Invermark, which is here in Petersburg. Uh, my father built Invermark in 1961 and I've been living here ever since 1970 to the present time. Until my father built Invermark, there was no place like that really in America. Uh, part of his dream was that some of the pipers would become very proficient, and that has happened. I love what I do. I love teaching. I love playing. And uh, sometimes I travel. I go to different parts of the country to teach piping. Uh, ended up in Petersburg because uh, the land very much resembles where my father grew up in Scotland, which was near the Invermark estate, which is the ancient home of the Lindsays from the time of the Normans. My name is Michael Dunn, and I've lived in Petersburg for close to 35 years. Uh, my wife and I moved back here from Berkeley, California, because we found property we could afford and an opportunity to build anything we wanted, house, shop, all of which we managed to do, and a family. Uh, I'm 68 now, and I'm still doing this. I feel if I stop, I'll have to find some big holes to fill in my life. But Petersburg has been very receptive and a wonderful place to work because I have all the privacy I need and a lot of social contacts in the arts and crafts that I can make anytime I need to. I've always liked making things that seem to be hard to work. I like to carve stone and carve wood. And metal just looked at, looked to be even more of a challenge. And basically I'm self-taught. I went out and I bought some tools based upon what somebody said I should think about and that I've made tools, bought them used at uh, tag sales and whatever, work directly from sketches I make for myself, inspirations that I pick up from beautiful Petersburg and uh, saw, hammer, and a torch. That's pretty much all I need to make a living with the jewelry.
Well, so much time has gone on since my quest for a new sculpture garden began. I had sculpture gardens in New Jersey that um, were dismantled by development, so I figured I'd find a nice, natural, beautiful place to live. But when I finally settled in Petersburg, um, it was a dream that came true. The grotto, um, it also came from uh, um, my drawing background where um, um, an arc shape was something that I liked to draw. And then I decided to make one that was for real in three dimensions, um, more like a sculpture. I suspected that eventually, if I kept working, uh, I might create something that uh, people would be interested in and they would come to see it. Um, and, and several people have, but uh, it's, um, after a while it, it really didn't matter um, whether people came or not. I enjoyed uh, just being in nature, working on my uh, studio and uh, making sculpture and um, it was just a lot of fun. I'm Ann Lindsay, and uh, I came to Petersburg over 40 years ago with Donald Lindsay. Uh, the bagpipes brought me here, and I felt like I had come home. I came to painting after living here about 20 years. I'd always wanted to paint, uh, and had learned in art school that I really couldn't do it. So fortunately, I dropped out of that and um, got very involved in clay and pottery for, for about 20 years, and then found a wonderful painting teacher, and that was the beginning of painting in, here in Petersburg. I always wanted to paint, and especially after uh, living here, because it is so beautiful. And painting, for me, is a way of connecting with that beauty. It's a way of merging with it. And it's a way of, of giving thanks and appreciation for it. About 20 years ago, when I began to paint, and uh, then I started showing, uh, I was asked to teach. And I started doing a few classes, teaching the best of what I had been taught, the best ways. And yet I saw my students becoming too concerned with the finished product and not enjoying the process of it. 
and so I decided that I wanted to teach uh, beginners and anybody really in a different, more process-oriented way, more creative, more playful, and uh, de I developed a 10-week course that uh, worked wonderfully, and uh, then I was uh, I knew it could be put into a book and indeed was able to get a publisher uh, right away. And uh, the book is Watercolor, A New Beginning, A Holistic Approach to Painting. And I taught classes here for many years. And then uh, I am on the faculties of Kripalu uh, Yoga Center, Omega Institute for Holistic Studies, uh, and the New York Open Center, and have taught uh, at Esalen and um, other places, art centers around the country, and even a few workshops in Provence and Italy. So uh, teaching has been a wonderful adventure. I love doing it, and uh, it's allowed me to support myself. My name is Kae Yoshida. I've been doing so many things, but right now, since I came here, I do pottery. I was living in New York City, but one day we had a uh, World Trade Center, uh, September 11. So I couldn't live there anymore. So I moved here. My friend asked me to come here. So. I planted the uh, flying saucer. It is so beautiful. First time I keep on the table to watch. In the meantime, I found that some, some part was spoiled. So then I thought, oh no. And then I decided to make something with that. To wanted to keep uh, those beauty.
my name is uh, Terry Lamphere, and I'm, I'm a stonemason. And this is my 40th year laying stone professionally. I grew up in Grafton, but my family was originally the Lamphere settled from wherever in Petersburg, <coughs> uh, probably 150 years ago. And um, I've been drawn to this area uh, because of the mountains, the people, the soil and the minerals. It's just always, Petersburg has always been the place that I wanted to be. I have a small farm up here and I uh, raise my food and uh, um, play music, but I make a living laying stone. I've done projects in Texas and Atlanta, Georgia, all through the Adirondacks, many projects, a, a lot of work at Camp Topridge in the Adirondacks. And in that work, we learned to use granite giant pieces and cut them and, and had to somehow get back the skills that had been lost in generations of people not doing that work. The waterfall in Great Barrington uh, is it's one of my favorite waterfalls. We've done several, and this particular one is fed uh, uh, through a series of pumps and the, and the water recycles. And um, the stone are from Petersburg that I use. These big ledge pieces are all from Petersburg. There wasn't a stone on the premises when I got there. The chapel is, um, is a project that was a two-year endeavor. And um, there, there's only two like it in the world. The first one I built probably in 2000, 1999 and 2000. We started it in 99 and finished in 2000. That is completely hand cut from shot rock from the Saranac Quarry. These projects are quite unique and there, there isn't a lot of it going on of exactly what we're doing. Um, maybe we might possibly be the only ones that are uh, doing this rough hewn work. Uh, our, our work reminds, this t work reminds a lot of people that see it of being very European, being from uh, Norway. If, if I can make it happen before I get too old to uh, pick myself up, I'm gonna do a few things in Petersburg that for the people in town with with stone from Petersburg and uh, that's uh, one of my dreams for the future <laughs>
My name is Michael Buzerak, and I have been in Petersburg now for, oh, 30 some odd years. I came to uh, Petersburg with one of my friends who had a place up here, and I was immediately Im impressed by the remarkable beauty. It, it, it was something like the hills that I'd grown up in, in southern New York, but they were much more uh, abrupt and, and, and exciting, and uh, I love the farms, and I love to see the uh, the land uh, all around this area. So uh, over the course of years, I ended up uh, purchasing a farm nearby. And I became a uh, timber framing designer and builder, primarily from having such a thrill going into old barns and bridges and crawling around the cellars and attics of old houses and such. Having this farm gave me a place to try things out. <laughs> And uh, one of the things uh, I was most interested in was the, the old buildings and the old methods of building. Quite a few years, I now have made 30, 40 structures of interlocking timber. And many of those are in Petersburg. Right. I'm Joan Caverly Buzerak, and I work with Michael primarily um, in the timber framing aspect. Uh, I help with the design, design with our clients together. We um, talk about the function and um, efficiency of a house, both in terms of how it's laid out inside and how it also um, sits into the land nicely and um, the exterior kinds of finishing that we tend to do are more early American style, as is the timber frame itself. I came to Petersburg when I married Michael. <laughs> in fact, Michael, at the time that I met him, said, um, I have a farm in upstate New York, but, you know, things aren't, you know, things aren't going as well, and I'm thinking about selling it. And I said, selling it? I'll buy the farm. <laughs> so I bought the farm <laughs> with Michael. We both haven't bought the farm yet. <laughs>
Thank you.